Having been taken prisoner and held within a containment field on Geonosis, Obi-Wan was approached by the fallen Jedi turned Sith Lord Count Dooku. During their meeting, as depicted in Attack of the Clones, Dooku makes a stunning reveal to Obi-Wan, telling him that the Galactic Republic was under the control of the Dark Lord of the Sith. Further, Dooku gives the then Jedi Knight his master's name, informing Obi-Wan not only that hundreds of senators were under the direct influence of a Darth Sidious, but also tying the actions of the Naboo Crisis ten years earlier to Sidious as well. These revelations by Dooku are quite remarkable, and it must be asked why Dooku appears to be betraying his master Sidious to some degree. In this video expose, I will explain why Dooku told Obi-Wan about Darth Sidious in Attack of the Clones. To understand why Dooku informed Obi-Wan about Sidious and the influence he held in the realm of galactic politics, it's necessary to understand the context of Dooku and Obi-Wan's conversation on Geonosis. It's crucial to note that Dooku informing Obi-Wan that the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious, was in control of the Republic, was directly influencing hundreds of senators, and had a role in the Trade Federation's actions during their invasion of Naboo ten years prior, is quickly followed up with an appeal by Dooku for Obi-Wan to join him, with Dooku forcefully stating, You must join me, Obi-Wan. Clearly, Dooku is trying to get Obi-Wan to leave the Jedi, as he had done a decade earlier, and join him. This is made even more evident earlier in their conversation on Geonosis, where Dooku attempts to appeal emotionally to Obi-Wan and convince him that Qui-Gon Jinn, Dooku's former Padawan and Obi-Wan's former master, would have abandoned his allegiance to the Jedi in the Republic if he were in Obi-Wan's position. Although Dooku attempts to convince Obi-Wan that by joining him, they could both endeavor to ultimately destroy the Sith, I don't believe that this was a genuine motivation for Dooku in informing the Jedi Knight about Sidious. Rather, I believe Dooku's true motivations and reasons for ultimately attempting to turn Obi-Wan away from the Jedi Order to join him are revealed in the Revenge of the Sith novelization. In the novelization, as Dooku is watching the Battle of Coruscant unfold before himself and Sidious, and upon seeing Obi-Wan and Anakin approaching to rescue the Chancellor, Dooku attempts to save Obi-Wan by suggesting to Sidious that they give him, quote, one last chance to join them. Dooku's motivations for wanting to allow Obi-Wan to live and join the Sith are clearly set out in the novel. For Dooku, Obi-Wan's support of himself and Sidious would be invaluable in establishing the coming Empire's political legitimacy. Therefore, Given that Dooku's primary motivations in joining Sidious and putting the plans of the Sith in motion were political, in that he wanted to destroy the corrupt Republic and replace it with a new government that was clean, pure, and direct, Dooku saw great value in having a Jedi with Obi-Wan's integrity join their cause, to make the coming Empire more acceptable to the galaxy at large. These political goals held by Dooku directly relate to his initial attempt to convince Obi-Wan to join him on Geonosis, and ultimately, his reason for telling the Jedi Knight about Darth Sidious and the control the Sith Lord held. Dooku, motivated primarily by destroying and replacing the Republic, wanted to bolster the legitimacy of his movement with a Jedi of Obi-Wan's caliber. Therefore, he attempted to lure Obi-Wan in by demonstrating just how far gone the Republic was and how futile and foolish the Jedi were in continuing to carry out their edicts, given the control the Sith enjoyed over the Republic. In revealing the truth of the situation, Dooku hoped to gain even greater political legitimacy for the Empire by having Obi-Wan leave the Jedi Order and join him. The Revenge of the Sith novelization makes it clear that Dooku's revelations to Obi-Wan on Geonosis are not indicative of a plot by Dooku to overthrow Sidious. In the novel, Sidious is completely aware of Dooku's efforts to bring Obi-Wan onto the side of the Sith, stating that both he and Dooku learned on Geonosis that the now Jedi Master was too old, too indoctrinated, and too poisoned by Jedi fables to be of any use to them going forward. Sidious was well aware of Dooku's words to Obi-Wan, and it's framed as a test that was put forth by both of the Sith Lords, rather than simply Dooku going rogue and attempting to actually ally with Obi-Wan to overthrow Sidious. On its face, 
it wouldn't make sense for Dooku to legitimately be attempting to betray Sidious on Geonosis. The galaxy is on the brink of war by the time of Attack of the Clones, a war that requires Sidious in order to play both sides against each other and to create the necessary elements to destroy the Republic and replace it with a new government. If Dooku was to betray Sidious, then it would deprive him of his primary, and in many ways singular goal, of implementing a new galactic government to cleanse the galaxy of what he viewed as the fester of democracy. Nonetheless, the Revenge of the Sith novelization directly shows that Dooku revealed the truth about his master Darth Sidious to Obi-Wan as a means to try to pull the Jedi Knight onto the side of the Sith to further his political goals. Importantly, despite Sidious being aware of Dooku's attempt on Geonosis, it isn't to say that the Dark Lord of the Sith also desired to recruit Obi-Wan in order to gain the political legitimacy they needed for his empire. Clearly, Sidious never intended to bring Obi-Wan into the Empire. Although it isn't directly expressed or implied within the novelization, Sidious was probably happy to let Dooku believe that the political elements of their plan were the most important, while knowing full well that Obi-Wan would never join them, and that Dooku would eventually be replaced by Anakin anyway. Unlike Sidious, Dooku was blinded by sentimentalities for Obi-Wan through their shared connection to Qui-Gon Jinn, with Dooku, in many ways, actually viewing Obi-Wan like a grandson. Therefore, it was these sentimentalities and Dooku's political motivations that caused him to attempt to recruit Obi-Wan to his cause by revealing the existence and the truth about his master Darth Sidious on Geonosis, whereby he hoped the truth would push Obi-Wan away from his order and the Republic and towards Dooku's desired new government. So there we have it. Why Dooku told Obi-Wan about Darth Sidious in Attack of the Clones. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For not believing things simply because the Jedi are unaware of them.